It took me a few years to realize what an extraordinary influence my mother has been on my life. She is the kind of person who always has time for her kids, always interested in learning something new, would sacrifice herself for her family and is easily the strongest woman in my eyes. Growing up, I know I haven't been the best daughter in the world, but if, but if you were to ask her, she would tell otherwise. Looking back, my mom is the most positive and important influence in my life. My mother actually is an ordinary woman, but in her tiny appearance, shines an altruistic soul, perseverance, and is very kind hearted. In the 1980s, psychologist Carol Gray looked at how bright fifth graders handled an assignment that was too hard for them. She found that bright girls were quick to give up. The higher the IQ, they were more likely to give up. Bright boys, on the other hand, found the difficult material to be a challenge. They found it energizing. They were more likely to redouble their efforts. What's going on? Well, on fifth grade level, girls routinely outperform boys in math and science. So it's not a question of ability. The difference is in how boys and girls approach a challenge. And, and it doesn't just end in fifth grade. An HP report found that men will apply for a job if they meet only 60% of the qualifications. But women? Women will apply for a job only if they meet 100% of the qualifications. 100%. This is usually invoked as an evidence that, well, women need a little more confidence. But I take it as an evidence that women are socialized to be perfect instead of socialized to be brave. And even when we are ambitious, even when we are learning in, that socialization of perfection has caused us to take less risks in our careers. And so those six large jobs available in computing and tech Women are being left behind and it means an economy is being left behind in all the innovation and problems women could solve if they were socialized to be brave instead of socialized to be perfect. So, in 2012, Reshma Sajani started a company to teach girls how to code. And what she found is that by teaching girls to code, she had socialized them to be brave. Coding, it's an endless process of trial and error of trying to get the right command in the right place. Sometimes just a semicolon making the difference. It requires perseverance. It requires imperfection. During the first week, when the girls learned how to code, a student called her teacher and she said, I don't know what code to write. The teacher, didn't. The teacher looked at her screen and she saw a blank text editor. If the teacher didn't know any better, she would think that the student just passed the her past 20 minutes looking at the screen. But when the teacher presses undo a few times, she realizes that the girl came, that the girl tried, she came close, and but didn't get it exactly right. Instead of showing the progress that she made, she would not she would show nothing at all. Perfection or bust. When a teacher gives an assignment in coding to the class and the children will not be able to do it. The boys will come in and tell, Professor, there's something wrong with the code. The girls will come in and tell, Professor, there's something wrong with me. We have to begin to undo the socialization of perfection, but we have to combine it with building a sisterhood that lets girl, that let girls know that they are not alone. Because trying harder is not going to fix a broken system. I cannot tell you how many of my friends have told me. I'm afraid to ask a question. I'm afraid to ask a question and raise my hand. I don't want to be the only one who's struggling. I don't want to be the only one who doesn't understand. When we teach girls to be brave and we have a supportive network cheering them on, they build incredible things and we can see this every day. And those dreams have never been important for our country. For the Indian economy, for any economy to grow, to truly innovate, we cannot leave behind half of our population. We have to socialize our girls to become affordable with imperfection and we have got to do it now. We cannot wait for them to learn how to be brave. We have to teach them to be brave in schools and early in their careers when it has the most potential impact in their lives and in the lives of others. And so I need each one of you to tell every young woman you know, your friend, your niece, to become
comfortable with imperfection because when we teach girls to be imperfect and we help them leverage it, we will build a movement of young women who will build a, who will build a better world for themselves and for each and every one of us. Thank you.